Okay, it is Holly, guys. I am talking about nail polish today, and I've talked a little bit about it in the past, but I haven't really talked a whole lot about cosmetics lately. So today we're going to discuss these different brands um, that I personally prefer to use myself. I feel like these are the highest quality for the best price, and really just more of a non-toxic product that you can use. And so these are not perfect. I really think any nail polish that you use... Um, you know, I mean, it's kind of like with anything, there's always going to be a minimal, a minimal risk and, you know, likely a minimal amount of toxin. But, uh, with nail polish, the thing is you just want to be careful because it can be really irritating to the respiratory system as well as the immune system. And it can jack with your lymphatics, your endocrine system. So keeping all that in mind. So I am really, really fond of my favorite brand. Of nail polish that I use is Karma Hughes and these are just a few um, the yellow one is completely gone I think the one on the right side is like a navy blue you can't see the color very well it looks black but it's actually it's a pretty navy blue but these are my favorites they do chip easier than I would like them to but in my opinion these have been the best that I have yet to use as far as weighing all the different benefits of the non-toxicity, the price, these are about $10 per bottle. Um, now I generally will just use the same color all the time and I will use one bottle at a time and one bottle will last me about a month. And I, I'll touch up my nails like every single day because I have to because my nails chip really super easy. Um, I work with my hands all day long so that's just kind of what happens. I do a lot of cleaning, I take care of kids. So it is what it is. And I'm also a massage therapist, so nail polish doesn't keep super long on me. But this is definitely a really great product and I do want to emphasize that. Now, secondly, Essie is an example of another brand. Um, these two I have yet to use. These two were given to me. They have a lot of different colors to choose from. Essie is a brand you can find at Target. I believe you can actually also find it at Walmart. You can find it everywhere. Now this one, in my opinion, I don't think it's as good as far as non-toxicity as Karma Hughes, but this is just an example of another product that I am willing to use and happy with utilizing. So, and there are some others as well that are not bad. OPI is one that's a little bit less toxic um, than some others. Generally speaking, if you are buying your product from say like Walmart, maybe a drugstore, um, or even like the dollar store, you're going to be looking at products that are probably going to be higher in toxicity because just because of the cheap quality and because, you know, you want to look for whether or not the product will specify, you know, is it toluene free? Is it formaldehyde and DBP free? Phthalates, that's a huge thing um, with nail polish phthalates. Those are very carcinogenic um, chemicals that you want to watch out for. So, and if you open up the bottle of nail polish and it smells really, really strong, chances are it's probably quite toxic. So just looking out for these things. And like I say, this is pretty short today. These are just a couple of brands. Like I say, I am very, very partial to the Karma Hughes brand. I get all of these off eBay. Essie you can find in pretty much every major store. And these I like because <clears throat> they are pretty non-toxic. And it doesn't really say here on this bottle but these are these are free of the phthalates and a lot of other things that you don't want in your nail polish so um so just do the best you can if you don't have access to getting something that's necessarily organic or something like karma hues just you know try to get what you can that's whatever is available at your store whether or not you order online just do the best that you can because every little thing that you do helps but like i say i also am okay with using brands like opi higher quality brands, um, you know, that aren't necessarily super expensive. There's also another one called Avril Organics that I really like. And um, I recently talked about Avril Mascara and they also have nail polish and I recently ordered one of those. And they have other products as well. There's also another one called Piggy Paint that's, um, I think it's more geared toward children, but that one is a really good non-toxic water-based 
nail polish as well but that one does chip pretty easily so there are tons of different ones that you can choose from but just try your best to make smart choices and as for the nail polish brands that I do not particularly like I'm not really fond of Sally Hansen I think their products contain a lot more chemicals than what I would like I'm also not a fan of Revlon um, I don't think Maybelline has nail polish but I'm not a fan of the super, super drugstore brands in general. I wouldn't use their nail polish, nor would I use their, um, their regular makeup also. So e.l.f. is another one. I don't know if e.l.f. even has nail polish either, but, but yeah, I try to just stick to the brands that I know and that I trust. And so yeah, just try to think about it. If you're someone that does use a lot of nail polish, just bearing in mind that it can really, really be irritating for your respiratory system. And like I said before, your lymphatics, your endocrine system, your immune system, all of that. And, you know, honestly, even your gut health. I mean, anything you're putting on your body is going to go into your bloodstream. And that includes nail polish. So in the past, um, in past, you know, decades, people have been getting a lot of toxins from nail products in general. Unfortunately, we've reached a day and age in our society where we don't have you know, we have so many different choices and our nail products are becoming so much more natural, but just be mindful. And I hope that this helps and I'll see you in the next video.